Now, with that being the case, though, we know, you know, the quarterback that was out there. And that's Aaron Rodgers, man. This is a guy that, you know, is a future mm-hmm. first ballot Hall of Famer. What was that experience like for you? Because obviously you play with two Hall of Fame quarterbacks in terms of Ben and Rodgers. But just in the sense of being with Rodgers, what was that experience like as well? Man, it's crazy because I see all the or I hear all the outside talking, you know, with with media or, or you might have friends or family yeah. that might ask you about them. And they already got a perception. But it's like, man, A-Rod is one of the coolest uh I don't even know what you would call it. Jokester, <laughs> like jokester type yeah. guys. Like, man, like, and, and, and even when I had my injuries at all, I mean, not at all, but at Green Bay, like we had a similar injury. He was, he was, he would come talk to me about the injury, just making sure I was good mentally to Let's come go. back. I remember, I remember when I was first getting there, I was doing good at practice. Came and talked to me about little things, you know, what he see, what he could help with. Like, man, like, he's the ultimate competitor. And, like, like I was telling uh, some of the guys today at practice, it's just, like, certain little things he would do at practice and you understand why it's so good and it looked that good in the game. Mm. For example, like, if the defense is um, – they switching to another person there yeah. at practice, he going to catch them at practice with 12 Ooh. men on the field. Okay, you know okay. I mean? So so when we get in the game and that happens, it ain't no surprise. <laughs> you know what that's I'm what he does absolutely like that, that's really what he do like when they say like you practice how you play in the game like that's that like that's what he is let's go now i like that right there and then obviously we said on the flip side you did get a chance to play with you know ben roffsberger i mean we are you know everybody loves him here in pittsburgh man two-time super bowl champ and like you said another future first ballot hall of famer in his own right what was that experience like as well? Not necessarily comparing and contrast, but just in his own, you know, vein in that sense. Oh uh, man, for me, I think it was a just another great thing to, to, to get to see another shoot great Hall of Fame quarterback. You know what I mean? Mm. Because everybody different, right. so you get uh, you get to pick pick those in and out. So like the game, you get to pick their brain. Like I just think for me, it's great because how smart they are as men and as players. Because, I mean, we don't always talk about, and even in Green Bay, we don't always talk about football. Like, it's taxes, it's money, it's how I can keep this money. Like, it's we talk about some of everything. So, yeah. like, I just appreciate that, you know, them being some older, you know, uh, wise guys that can help me in any way. Now, you're absolutely right, man. You're absolutely right. And you can never have enough of that type of advice either, man. So, and it's also dope right. that you actually, like, are open to receiving it because as you know in the league man not everybody is open to that type of situation right there man 